and welcome to Starfish Online with Mike. Uh, we're trying something new because we have to try something new. I hope you guys are all doing okay and that everything is more or less alright. Some of you little ones might have noticed that we're all having to stay inside a lot more than we usually would. And that's because of lots of things that's going on in the world. But because of that, we're not at Starfish this morning. But I thought maybe we could have Starfish online instead. So we're going to do some things in our own homes uh, and you can watch me and you can follow along with me uh, and hopefully it's uh, something to keep you guys going on this Thursday morning. It's time for a craft. We are going to make dinosaurs today. Now um, you might not have exactly the same materials as what I've got but I'm sure if you've got some old magazines or old packaging uh, you should be able to make um, this with things that you can find in your house I think. We've also uploaded um, some uh, printables so if you're not as confident at drawing as uh, uh, some people might be then you can just download them and print them off from there. So hopefully you should be able to uh, follow along at home. If you need to pause it you can. Today we are making some dinosaurs. Here's one I made earlier like Blue Peter. This is a dinosaur. Uh, I haven't given him a name yet um, and he's got some spikes and he's got some spots and he's got a smile and this kind of dinosaur is called a diplodocus um, and he has a very long neck and a very long tail and he eats lots of plants and vegetables and things like that that are good for you but if you don't want to make a long neck diplodocus you can make a triceratops uh, or you can make and I know there's someone there who this is their favorite dinosaur a T-Rex uh, that you can print out and make as well and it's the same method just a different shape that you cut out at the beginning. Now uh, to make this it's really easy uh, what you will need is a bit of card with uh, the dinosaur shape drawn on um, you can print those out online you can cut out some circles you can cut out some triangles you might need some print stick or some PVA glue you will need a kitchen roll tube if you're particularly lucky then maybe you can use a toilet roll tube and uh, you will need some scissors and you'll need a pen so once you've got all your bits you can cut out your dinosaur shape um, and you've got your glue you've got your pen you've got your uh, spots and you've got uh, the spikes to go on his back and um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to decorate our dinosaur and we can decorate our dinosaur however we like um, so the first thing we can do is draw a happy face on our dinosaur so he's got his smile as well you can have a go at drawing that. Um, we can stick our spots on with our glue. You have to be careful not to get things messy. And stick a spot on, and another spot on. And just stick them straight on the front. There you go. Um, and we can turn him over, and on the back we can stick the spikes. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to very carefully round the edge of our dinosaur. We're going to draw down one side with the glue and we're going to draw all along his back or her back and up the tail. There's the spot there. And then that will be a nice place we can stick the spikes onto so that they will look all neat from the other side as well. So we can take our spikes and stick them on and you can stick them all nice and crowd together all higgledy piggledy or you could stick them nice and neat and spaced apart it's really up to you how you'd like to do it there we go if anyone has got any ideas what I can name these two dinosaurs because I've got a green one and a pink one um, if you've got any ideas for names do let me know you can put them on the Facebook group um, so once they're stuck on, I could probably do with some more spikes. Uh, they will look like that. Ta -da. We can carry on decorating it as well if we like. We could paint it if we've got paint at home. We could colour it in with felt tip pens or with crayons. If we've got stickers, we could add stickers. I've got some stick on gems here. Just lying around in my house, of course, because I'm the sort of person that has stick on gems lying around in my house but I'm sure you knew that about me already. And then we need to make his legs. Um, so in order to make his legs, we're gonna take our kitchen roll and we're gonna chop it up, or our toilet roll, we're gonna chop it up. And I'm just gonna cut this one in half 
because the more even I can make it, the better. So I'm going to cut that right down the middle. And then with each one, I'm going to take the tube like that, and I'm going to cut about halfway down the side. Not any further than about halfway. So very carefully, and you're going to need your parents' help for this. Chop with the scissors down halfway. So you've got a little uh, gap there, and you're going to do it on the other side as well. And you're going to do it for his other leg. And while we've got our uh, dino not our legs off, I've still got my legs well and truly on, which is good. While we've got our dinosaur's legs off, we can draw um, some little toenails on if we want as well. Nice and easy, just little, like the letter N, N. While I'm doing this, I should say, so that you don't make the same mistake I just made, make sure you draw it on the bottom end of the foot, where the, where the slit that you just made isn't, but on the other side. And then, it's very simple, all we need to do is put the dinosaur in between the, the slots like that, and do the other leg. You'll find he stands up all nice. And there you have it, a dinosaur. You could make uh, more than one with different colors. You can make the different types of dinosaur. We've got the Diplodocus and the T-Rex and the Triceratops. You can make one of all three um, and you can decorate them in different ways as well. So maybe you can make a whole park of dinosaurs. Although if you've seen Jurassic Park, uh, just be aware of the dangers that that might um, entail. Thanks. We're going to sing some songs now, and our first song is uh, kind of about dinosaurs. We're going to sing Old MacDonald, but with dinosaurs. So you know how Old MacDonald goes. We're going to have a Triceratops on his farm. We're going to have a Diplodocus on his farm, and we're going to have a T-Rex on his farm, because they're the dinosaurs that some of you have made today. It goes like this. Old MacDonald had a farm. Triceratops, E-I-E-I-O, uh, with a roar, 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 <laughs> and a roar, 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 yeah. here, a roar, here, a roar, everywhere, roar, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a Diplodocus, E-I-E-I-O, with a roar, roar, here, and a roar, roar, there, here I roar, there I roar, everywhere I roar, roar. Oh, my daughter had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Nice one. And next we're going to do sleeping bunnies. So if you want to get uh, in a nice comfortable position and pretend like you're sleeping on the floor like a sleeping bunny and you know how the rest of the song goes. See the sleeping bunnies sleeping till it's noon. Shall we wake them with a merry tune? Oh, so still, are they ill? Shh! Wake up soon! Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop! Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop! Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop! Little bunnies sleeping till it's noon. Shall we wake them with a merry tune? Oh, so still, are they ill? Shh. Wake up soon. Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. 
hop, hop, little darlies, hop, 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 little darlies, hop, 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 One last time? I think so. We've got time to do it, haven't we? We're all indoors. See the little bunny sleeping till it's noon. Shall we wake them with a merry tune? Oh, so still are they ill? Wake up soon. Hop little bunnies, hop hop hop. Hop little bunnies, hop hop hop. Hop little bunnies, hop hop hop. Hop hop hop. Hop hop hop. Hop little bunnies, hop hop hop. Hop little bunnies, hop hop hop. Hop little bunnies, hop hop hop. Hop hop hop. Well, that is all we've got time for today for Starfish Online. Uh, but we hope that uh, we will have something up again next week in the normal Starfish kind of time frame so that you can join us again then. In the meantime, do keep in touch with us. Uh, you can use the Facebook group to keep chatting. Let us know how you are. Let us know how things are going in your houses. We will also be posting things on there uh, that will help you to know what else we're doing. Um, so we will have things up for Illuminate Age children um, and for grown-ups as well. One thing is that on Sunday we are doing a Mother's Day service, but online. Um, so you can find details about how you can join us for that uh, through the Starfish page as well and through our website. Do also post your photos of your dinosaurs that you have made onto the group so we can see all the different ones that people have been making in their houses. It's time for mums to grab yourself a tea or a coffee and for kids to grab yourself a juice and we're going to sing the goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to go now I must say thank my day Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye Bye! And, and this kind of dinosaur is called a long neck No it's not, she's making my other dinosaur a little bit jealous because. <laughs> Look how plain he is. And next up we've got sleeping bunnies. You know this one. So before we start, um, get yourselves nice and comfortable on the floor. Um, lying down like my, 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 my soup is boiling over. 